Guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avera Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving FANG interview questions from companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this is a great series to build your concepts and practice along. So yeah, let's jump right in. So in this video, we are going to solve this question on status crash regarding best actors or actresses of all time. This question has been asked in Netflix interviews and if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst or ML engineer interviews, it is a great way to practice your concepts. So yeah, let's jump right in. The question says, find the best actors or actresses of all time based on the number of Oscar awards, output the nominees alongside their number of Oscars order records in descending order based on the number of awards okay so we are given a data frame called oscar nominees and our output is a pandas data frame with two columns the nominee and the number of occurrences basically the number of times they won the oscar and this entire data frame should be sorted by number of occurrences in descending order so let's try to preview the oscar nominees data frame so here we have the year category and then the nominee movie winner and id so we are only concerned about the nominee column winner column and the id column nominee is required in our output winner helps us to decide whether the person won the oscar or not and then id can be used to count the number of times the person won the oscar or not so what we can do is we are only concerned about people who won the oscar right because we need in our output number of times people won the oscar so what we can do is we can perform a boolean indexing saying that only keep those rows where winner is equal to true so what we do is let's you know do a boolean indexing so take the oscar nominees and then data frame and the column called winner and that should be equal to equal to true and we should store this in a data frame called df basically df is all the rows where the person won the oscar so if i go ahead and run this so here you see that all these people have won the oscar and in which year which category what was the movie etc now once we have this then in our output we need for every nominee how many times they won the oscar so to do this we can do dot group by the nominee column and then as we learned in our previous series that you can go ahead and directly use the dot aggregate function so dot aggregate now in our final output the name of the column that we need is n occurrences so we write n occurrences the name of the final column that we want and then we can provide a tuple so which column we are going to use so we need to use the id column and what are we basically performing we need to perform the count okay so now once we have this then since we already learned that if you are grouping by the nominee that will become the index so obviously we need that as a column not an index right so this is a separate column so to do that we need to find that okay reset index so if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so this is what we have now in our output we also need to order this by n occurrences in decreasing order so we can go ahead and write dot sort values and then by which column by n occurrences and then ascending should be false because we want it in descending manner so ascending equal to false let me go ahead and run this now so now if you look at it our output is very similar to what we have in our expected output okay so let me go ahead and submit it so pass all the test cases so i think everything is going let me open this in a separate browser trap so that we can you know see that okay so if you look at it everything is green and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question all we did was firstly we only kept those rows where the oscar nominees were a winner because that is how we need to count the best actors or actresses of all time and then we found that okay let's group by the nominee and return the count of the id column and store this in a column called n occurrences then we reset the index so that nominee appears as a column not as an index and then we sorted the values by n occurrences in descending order so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video